What is a functional neurologist or how does it differ from a traditional neurologist? And one of the things I kind of tell people is that functional neurologists look at things a little bit differently. We try to figure out what's wrong with your brain per se, not just react to each symptom that people may have. It's kind of like I tell people sometimes what happens in a concussion case is your wiring gets a little screwed up and you know you go to the doctor um, and get an MRI or get a CT scan and nothing comes back or it all comes back normal I should say but yet you still have the symptoms that you may have headaches dizziness um, I can't focus very well or I'm getting anxious or my stomach is more upset than normal so again as a functional neurologist, try to figure out what parts of the brain may be causing some of these issues and how can we change them? How can we rewire your brain? And usually after that, people say, well, what are you going to do to rewire my brain? And best examples I give to people is your eyes and ears, you know, the ocular system and the vestibular system are your windows to the brain. That's how I'm going to make changes. Your brain has the ability to change. It's called neuroplasticity. So basically that's how we learn things. Um, you know, if I put a golf club in your hand, you're not going to be a great golfer. But if we practice and work at it over time, you can become a great golfer. So with the eyes and ears as my windows to the brain, it gives us an opportunity to make changes to your brain and to create this plasticity to become a great golfer per se.